This former world champion has been banned, but first let's debunk a recent CM Punk WWE return clue. The online wrestling space is currently filled with speculation regarding the future of CM Punk, with many looking for clues as to what his next move could be. Whether it be social media posts, lines from his time as a commentator for CFFC, or even apparent references on WWE television, there's been no shortage of people trying to decrypt where he could land next. With that that said, another fire was started last night, with many feeling that they'd found a tease of a CM Punk WWE return. This when Google's search showed that the Second City Saints WWE roster page had recently been updated. Well, it's safe to say that this rumour is complete nonsense, and without wasting anyone's time, let's explain why. Firstly, take a look at this list of other pages that have been updated over the past few days or so, with this including the pages for WCW.com current AEW commentator Jim Ross, long-retired promoter Bill Watts, and the retired Adam Rose. Essentially, this shows that the date of every page of the WWE.com website is regularly updated on the Google search, and it isn't an indication that a significant change has actually happened. The reason for the change of date on the Google search is the news ticker at the top of WWE.com, which regularly updates to show the latest goings-on in the company. The ticker appears on every single page on the website, therefore every page is changed daily. The date shown on Google is the last time the search engine has crawled that page and has noticed something different, which is something that happens every few days, hence why not all of the times align on the results. The time shown is basically the last time Google detected a change on the news ticker at the top. Another important point is that when you actually take a look at CM Punk's roster page, his bio and render haven't actually changed since the new WWE website was introduced in 2015, and all of the information remains as it was. Punk has always been on the website under the alumni section. His page hasn't been updated, and this is very much a false alarm. Next up, WWE have listed Vince McMahon as a potential risk to the company. On November 7, WWE would release their latest filing to the SEC, with them reporting their financial earnings for Q3 of 2023. Notably, the company would reveal a revenue of $449.1 million and a net income of $22 million, this topping the UFC side of the TKO group. Within the report, WWE would inform shareholders of any potential risk factors as to things that could affect WWE stock in the future, with them name-dropping scandal-ridden Vince McMahon in that list. According to the filing, McMahon is viewed by the company as a risk to WWE's public image, this following the recent allegations made against him. This initially led to his retirement last year, before he was reinstated onto the board to seek the sale of the company, leading to the merger with UFC by Endeavor, forming the TKO group, and the report claims that Vince could have adverse financial and operational impacts on our business and could expose us to negative publicity and or have other adverse financial and operational impacts on our business. His membership also may result in additional scrutiny and otherwise exacerbate the other risks described here on in. Any of these outcomes could directly or indirectly have adverse financial and operational impacts on our business. TKO's filing adds that there will be continual significant costs in relation to the internal investigations into McMahon's alleged misconduct, with the new WWE owners clearly aware of the bad reputation held by the current executive chairman. And next, WWE have signed a brand new television deal. WWE are currently in the midst of contract negotiations over their next broadcast homes, with it recently being announced that SmackDown would be returning to the USA Network, with the new deal set to kick in next October. Well, we now have an update on the NXT situation, as WWE would officially announce that the Black and Gold show is heading to the CW Network. And the five-year agreement marks the first time in its 13-year history that WWE NXT will air on a broadcast television network. WWE NXT will debut on the CW Network in October 2024 and air 52 live weekly events throughout the season. Interestingly, the news follows recent reports that the National Wrestling Alliance were working on a deal with the CW Network, although those in WWE now expect this to no longer happen. There's been speculation that a recent segment at an NWA pay-per-view that saw James Mitchell at a table with 
alcohol and white powder laid out. It may have affected talks with CW, something that has now seemingly been confirmed. House of Wrestling would report today that NWA owner Billy Corgan has withdrew from those close to him following the news of NXT going to the CW, with a WWE source revealing that the impression is that talks with the network accelerated following the incident as fans bombarded the CW with outrage over the angle. They would add that the spot upset people at the CW and there is now an active push by those higher up at the CW for NWA programming to only air on the CW app rather than on television. One WWE source would even state that no segment in wrestling history has had such a severe consequence than this one. And next, could this release WWE star be AEW or TNA bound? There's been much talk of the free agency market as of late, with there expected to be many moves across all of the top companies in the world next year. One name that currently finds themselves without a contract is former NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose, who was released from WWE in December 2022, this due to the nature of content being posted on her fan time page. During an Instagram Q&A this week, Rose would be asked if she sees herself return to the ring at some point, with it now being close to one year since she last wrestled, and she would say, I don't know when I'll be returning to the ring, not really sure if I'll be returning to the ring, not really sure if I'm going to be returning to the ring, it's really up in the air, I know it's not the best answer, but it's all I can say right now, I'm enjoying my life, my freedom, my time, when you're wrestling and you're on the road, it takes a toll on you, and I have to be committed to that if I want to get back into it, so we'll see, I was on the road for 8 years, and it was a blessing. Blessing. Rose would then be asked if a move to AEW or TNA could be on the cards with her seemingly open to the idea, at least under the right circumstances, and she would respond, I don't know, if the right phone call comes around, maybe. And next, could the UFC be set to book these top WWE names? Next year, UFC will host the UFC 300 event, which will be a huge landmark for the promotion, with this in turn meaning the card will be star-studded. MMA fans have been fantasy booking their own cards for what they want to see at the UFC 300 event, with huge names such as Ronda Rousey and Brock Lesnar rumored to be involved. With that said, UFC president Dana White would speak with Justin Barrasso of Sports Illustrated to rule out such appearances and he would say I get why everybody asks, I love that everybody loves them like that, and with so much passion, I do too, but they're definitely not coming back for UFC 300. I always had an incredible working relationship with Brock Lesnar. It's funny to say this because he's always such a grouchy dude, but I consider Brock Lesnar a friend. I absolutely love Ronda Rousey, she's one of the greatest athletes I've ever worked with. She's a pioneer, an inspirational figure for women, and an all-round badass for UFC. Brock Lesnar is of course signed with WWE, which recently merged with UFC, meaning this would be an easy move to make were the intentions there. Ronda Rousey is currently a free agent altogether, which also makes her available for the show, although it seems that neither are currently in the plans. With that said, were any surprise announcement planned for the show, it wouldn't be revealed in response to a question in a random interview, so we'll have to wait and see as the weeks roll on. Next up, this former world champion has been banned. By July 2019, Tessa Blanchard would rise to the top of Impact Wrestling, where they're not only winning the Impact Knockouts Championship during her tenure with the company, but she would also become the first ever female to win the Impact World Championship, which has traditionally been a title held by men. However, things would soon take a turn for the worst after bullying and racism allegations came to light from fellow colleagues of Blanchard, with her eventually being let go by Impact after a falling out with management, with her having not been seen in a major American promotion since. During a recent episode of the Keeping It 100 podcast, Booker of Mexican promotion Lucha Libre AAA Worldwide, Conan, would be asked if he would consider booking Tessa for an upcoming show, with him ruling this out, albeit for different reasons from companies in the United States. Conan would reveal that a personal issue between Tessa and her now ex-husband Daga would keep her from being on his shows, and he would say, no, why would I bring her in, bro? She was very disrespectful. She was like, oh, the only reason I'm in fucking Mexico is because of Daga, her ex-husband. Really? Okay. And she said, why do you guys do this? Why do you guys do that? I go, because newsflash, this is Lucha Libre, not US wrestling. And bro, it would be very uncomfortable after the way Blanchard and Daga got separated that she'd be in the same dressing room with him. And then I don't want to put him in that position. They were married. She hooked up with some other guy and he found out like one of the boys. 
Whilst AAA are unwilling to book Tessa Blanchard, she has been working with the company's rivals, CMLL, over the course of October, making seven dates towards the end of that month. And before you go, make sure you check out 10 shocking Roman Reigns facts that WWE wants you to forget.